Welcome everybody to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. You are Keith. Good yeah. job. And the rest of you are lucky because today we are out on the water. We're out on Farmington Bay We're doing a little uh, a little kill and grill for you today. Um, so we've got lots of fun stuff to give away as well. But really we just wanted to have a little fun time right before the Christmas break. Um, so first off, um, I do want to remind everybody that um, do send your questions in. I do have the phone here, so I'm going to be able to check those out, um, and we'll get any of your, your Q&A while we're out here. Um, we've also got Dave Reynolds nearby. He's act actually still hunting, but he's going to run over as we do some lunch here. So any of your boat questions, he's an expert that way, so he's going to be able to answer any of your questions with that. Also, a um, message from Ambry. She wants you to know that um, for all of you who have won a prize in the past and still have not received it, please send an email to her. And that's at Ambry, A-M-B-R-E, at mudbuddy.com. That's where you're going to send that. So send her a message. Uh, for those of you who won uh, prizes for the Christmas giveaway, um, you will have confirmation and tracking on that on Friday. Okay, so that's a little bit of the business. A little bit of yeah, business. Yeah, a little bit of business. So, Keith, what, what is going on? Hey, what are we doing? We're, we're doing a little, a little bit. Of, we're doing a little hunting. So, so a little far, hunting. Dave's got three. Keith's Dave's got, got three. Zero. Your big old goose egg for that's Keith. That's okay. I'm grilling. You're, you're feeling we're, okay. So, you are, you're over here on the grill. This is a brand new, uh, this is our brand new Camp Chef, because uh, we love everybody from Camp Chef. Everybody go give them show them some love. We've got some beans working here. We've got some elk steaks, or uh, I guess some, just yeah, some, some cut, cut up elk. Uh, yeah, some cut up elk. Backstrap elk. Uh, we're going to make uh, some elk tacos. Some elk tacos. Yeah, kind of like what we did when Ryan came and visited us last year. Absolutely. We're just, uh, this time we're able to do it out on the boat in the marsh. Yes, yeah, so everybody, we're, this is a, a prototype for only the fans of the show. Those of you who are lucky enough to watch this, you're the first people to ever see anything like this, but this is our, a brand new track system that is about to launch uh, from XL Boats. You'll be able to get that about mid-January. Um, comes in a six inch, uh, one foot, foot and a half and two feet lengths is what you'll be able to get that. But uh, our engineers worked up this little, uh, what do you call it? A, just a, a just a quick little prototype, something that we were uh, yeah, a little rig about. for we, this uh, for this camp show. Yeah, we got the stove on Friday. Yes, and here we are, just a couple quick little drill some holes, uh, put some uh, one by one square tubing underneath to get it level and square. Camp Chef's amazing with the product, and we're we're good to go. This is going to be an amazing setup that will be available soon. Oh, okay. Well, we got Dave. Dinner, Dinner bell. bell. Dinner bell. <laughs> I'll step it up here a little bit on the, on the meat. That's awesome. Did you bring that? Uh, did you bring that cinnamon with you? I did. Awesome. So Dave has got three. He's got three birds so far, but one of them is really fantastic that I'm excited for him to show you. Um, I've got Casey Brady on. Did the ice melt then? Uh, I was thinking probably so. Yeah, so it's actually been pretty warm. <laughs> we actually had rain last night, so the ice is pretty much gone. When we first got here, there was. You know, it was a little chunky, and there's a few spots where there's, where it's ice over, but mostly no ice. Yeah, not like uh, Saturday when I was here, about an inch and a half to two inches thick. So, uh, pretty much open up anywhere you want to rock and roll to. Yeah. So, so what's the while before, while people are asking more questions, tell us about what you're doing with this uh, with this elk, your your expertise. So I'm just elk just kind of putting about a ten or about a 20, 30 second on each side. Like a sear, you pretty much just, just sear it. Just searing it. One thing about elk meat, it's not processed like beef and all that stuff you get at home, so you don't have to cook cook it to death. So I'm overcooking it a little bit, but oh well, we'll, we'll make it work. We still want a little bit of, we yeah, we're, not gonna, we're just hungry right now, right? Yeah, I just thought of a new business for you, Keith. <laughs> Is yeah. a, you know, food truck? Yeah. Food boat? It's a food boat. Food boat, man. You can go from now, 100 to 100 and start a small box of tacos. There now, we go. That is an idea. Hey, I'm liking that, Dave. All right. You, yes. ki you kill it and I'll grill it. You kill it, I'll grill it. And you just, just motor around the lake all day. Yeah, that could be your name. You kill them, we grill them. Yeah, you kill them, exactly. we grill them. And thanks to Camp Chef, we'll be able to do that. And with our new Excel track system, 
that's going to be available for everybody yes. uh, right after the first part of the year. Yep, um, about mid-January. And there's, from what I understand, I don't know all the accessories that will work into this track system, but it's an amazing amount of stuff that you'll be able to. Yes, you'll be able use. to get. You'll be able to slide in your rod holders, your fish finders, all all of those. Downriggers. It's, it's uh, really universal. We we've, we've worked hard to make sure that Toilet we get as seat. many <laughs> toilet <laughs> seats. Yeah, we won't bring that up right now. Interesting. <laughs> Um, but, uh, I've got Curtis Zabel on, uh, Luke Powell is on, Tony Torres is on. Hey, Tony, that's my nephew from California. Oh, Keith, here he is. Stan Shaw hey, is on. Stan. Stan is the man. Stan, I'm so glad you're watching. We were out here last week, and we ran into Stan. He came over and said hi. Um, so, Stan, I have some stuff for you. Stan, because you are the man. Thank you for coming in. Stop being. You have to and... be here before five. <laughs> no, 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 no. Although, oh, if you're on. out here, come on over. See if you can find us. We're not we'll pin away dropping our... where we're at. No, I will not pin drop that. But Stan, you are the man. Um, after this, actually, it'll be tomorrow because I don't think I'll be able to get to it. But there will be a link, um, or send us a private message with uh, your info, and we'll get we'll get a hold of you and get that out. Um, I've got a hat for you. Okay. Stan, you are awesome. Hey, I've, I've got a question for everybody out there. We ran into Stan last week. We did. And he noticed the boat, and he came up and said hi. And he asked a question. I want to see who uh, can guess what Stan asked us. <laughs> and I'll give you... How about that? Is that the Tangle Free uh, gun strap? Yeah, we got the, we've got the, the Yeah, hey, we'll give them right an El Caco if they can make it here before Dave eats them all. So we got a gun strap. If you can guess what Stan asked us... What the question was that he asked, then uh, I've got a duck strap for you. Stan, that's not for you, baby. You cannot answer your question. Um, Casey Brady wants to know where we are. We're in Farmington Bay somewhere. Somewhere in Farmington Bay. Dave said if we pin dropped anybody, he was going to pin drop <laughs> us. I'm not sure what that meant, but I'm not willing to... Uh... I'll just sabotage your motor. <laughs> He's going to leave us stranded, then we'll have to call Ricky and get home. I don't know. It's a short walk. We'll end up <laughs> paddling back. To Lever Club tonight. Yeah. <laughs> That's really sweet of him, huh? Oh, let's see. Uh, Bryce Evans, what camo pattern this is. So this boat here, this is our Optifade Marsh. Yes. Yeah. Same. Yeah, and that's the uh, same that, that Dave's got on. Mm-hmm. So you want to take a look at some of the ducks? Yes. Yeah, I definitely, yeah let's I take think, a look like at some said, of these. Dave, everybody's going to want to see that uh, cinnamon teal because they're just not... Oh, yeah, uh, I'll save that for last. Some, some parts of the bill. country. Not a lot of ducks out here right now, so we're not choosy. Did get a beautiful bull sprig, though. It's got a nice, pretty good sprig. A lot of pintail out here this time of the year. And the prize is... Lucy. The cinnamon teal that Lucy made a great retrieve on. Oh, nice long she retrieve. Did. She had to go a long way for that thing. That's a beautiful bird in full plumage, winter plumage. That is a prized duck for many people, especially if you don't live in the Pacific Flyway. That's the only place you can get the uh, cinnamon teal. So in fact, I was out here a few weeks ago, and there was a guy out here from Michigan where I grew up hunting. Man up at the boat ramp. He was out here with the sole mission to shoot a cinnamon teal. He had a guide. I don't know if he was successful or not, but guys, fly out here from Michigan to shoot this bird. Beautiful bird. So is that is that something you're thinking about mounting maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to put it in the freezer. It's a uh, pretty good shape. Not hit too bad. Wing's a little broken, but nothing a taxidermist can't fix. But actually, it's a uh, pretty good shape. As good as, good as you can get, really. Yeah, it's a beautiful bird. It's a great job. Everyone's giving Lucy. Let's grill them up, Keith. Oh, just kidding. Grill them up. Grill them up. Uh, no, we got yeah, lots of lots of love for uh, Lucy over there. Hi, Lucy. Hey. Yeah, she, uh, she smells little, the food, right, that Lucy? That little retrieve was a long retrieve. That was uh, and then that, several that hundred yards. That little thing dunked and dived, and she was patient and waited and waited for it to pop up and. Brought She's back. played that game before. She, yeah. uh, Been there, done that, you stupid bird. In fact, her tail starts wagging when they dive under. It's like it's a game. Okay, yeah. come on. I got you. Yeah, I'm going to get you. Get you. You're going to pop up sometimes. So I've got, a, I've got a message from Lane Hall. He asked what motor we're running. We're running the HDR 5000 or the 50. 
Yes. We've got just about five hours on it, so we're just starting to uh, feel comfortable where we can start to open it up and uh, see what kind of speeds. And maybe if everything goes good on the way home, we'll pull out a GPS and yes. we, we won't do it live, but we'll show you a photo of yes. us. As flying we, down the flyway. As we do some testing. Lane Hall. Yeah, that was Lane Hall that asked that. Lane, I'm going to send you... I've got a uh, uh, Sitka green... It's the green Sitka XL hat. That one is for you. I'm going to send that off. Um, send us a private message or check back uh, probably tomorrow morning and there will be a link at the top of this description that you can click to fill out. Um, I totally forgot to do it again like I always do because we're out and about and, you know, I don't know. I, he, I, what? What? What do you want? It's almost the Christmas holiday. Merry um, Christmas. Thank you. Um, Dave, tell them what you're running. We've got a we got an awesome motor with us today. Yeah, this is a, uh, well, it's a 25 EFI, long tail. Long tail. Actually, uh, you know, uh, Polar calls it 26 and a half. This one's labeled 27 EFI. But I've had this for quite a few years. This is one of the first EFIs we got at Mud Buddy. And yeah. Glenn, uh, I traded in for my old Kohler 25, non-EFI, and uh, been very happy with it. Yeah, it pushes his boat well, and and in certain situations, especially thick mud, real heavy vegetation, it will uh, outperform a hyperdrive. Out here this marsh, though, you leave me in your dust, um, but it's it's a good, pretty versatile motor. Gets the job done. It, it does, and you know what? They're uh, they're great for for all aspects. I mean, your other option besides the hyperdrive, the long tail, your next option is you're walking, and nobody wants to walk. So those long tails are great. We still build quite a few of them every year. Really reliable. In fact, you that's have... the guy that builds them right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, no, so. yeah. If you have problems, <laughs> call <laughs> Jeffrey. Oh, no. yeah. mm -hmm. Well, hey, you get a lot of help. Uh, before the food gets cold, we can. Uh, all right, should we get, start? Get Dave a taco or two. And then uh, snag that there. Um, so, Dave, I had a message from Charlie McRae. He says, my cinnamon teal was like shooting a 200-inch deer to me. Yeah. Like, it's it's awesome. They're a trophy. You know, yeah, especially trophy. this time of the year. Usually you get a lot of them early in this season. Um, yeah, I haven't shot many this late in the season, but when you do, it's a prize because it's got the full you know, winter plumage. Yeah. If they jump up here. Really, really beautiful. Okay, so um, Michelle Webb. Michelle, like I said earlier um, in the broadcast, if you have not received your uh, prize that you won, please send a message to Ambry. That's A-M-B-R-E at mudbuddy.com. She'll get that taken care of for you. Um, Michelle, though, we do, we do. Thanks for being on, Michelle. You're, you're awesome. Um, she's, she's, she's one of she our... wants to eat one of these ducks. That's what she's, that's what she's interested in. Some meat on there. Um, Jacob Chandler, this is a Camp Chef grill. So this is a brand new little item. This is, in fact, this is a prototype. Um, Camp Chef sent us this grill just a just a few days ago, and we had our engineers kind of rig up an adapter for our our new rail system. So this whole thing may become available soon. It will definitely be different than what we have kind of set up here, but something we're working to. This is a, an exclusive sneak peek, yeah. sneak peek. Right here with our little camp chef, but yeah, we're cooking we're right out of the boat. Some product testing. Out product, product testing. testing that's exactly wild. right. So this is the camp chef. It's the Rainier model. Yes. It comes standard with the uh, little flat top uh, griddle and also a one burner. There, you've got 8,000 BTUs and 10,000 BTUs. So it's a great little, a great little uh, apparatus and. Uh, Looking forward to using it more than just today. So oh, yeah, no, we'll take that yeah, out. Ice fishing, it will, it will, it will move a lot of places. Um, so I've had a couple oh, questions man. from Frank Williams and Jason I'll Kemp. Both asked the about. First. Yeah. Uh, they both asked about your blind, Dave. Yeah, that's the uh, fast grass blind. Uh, our sister company, Backwater Performance System, makes that blind. And um, uh, as you can see, well, actually, the blind is not up. But when that blind is up, it just disappears in any marsh environment. Can't tell. It's a very versatile line. It's just set up. It's big down. That grass is very versatile. In fact, that grass I put on three years ago. Prior to that, my old grass I had for 12 years. So, wow. Contrary to what a lot of people think, uh, if you take care of it, dry the grass out after it gets wet, um, that'll last a long time. Well, it's, a, it's a great blind. It gives you a lot of options. You, know, you can hunt out of the boat. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. 
depends on the situation, but I always have that option. Uh, that's and it's really easy to set up too. It's a really just a quick fold up, and it's it's easy. It's, it's so easy. easy. Yeah. Jeff and Ambry can do it. It's easy enough that Ambry and I can do it. That's uh, that tells you a lot right there, actually. Ouch. Um, let's see. Yeah, there were a couple of questions about that. In fact, um, yeah, let's see. Okay, Joe DeCrane, what's the benefits of a long tail versus the surface drive? Well, um, probably miss that conversation. You know, long tails are um, um, probably better suited for shorter distances, um, obviously. They don't go as fast as a hyperdrive. But they really excel in thick mud and heavy vegetation. Um, in fact, you know, I don't know if you saw that Facebook Live last month. We were at a particular marsh with real muddy, real thick vegetation. And uh, my long tail with half the horsepower was doing circles around this 50. Um, today, it's a different story. They're doing circles around me. But, you know, the long tail is very versatile and uh, very excels in real nasty stuff. Um, so, you know, I like it. It gives me... Uh, I said, more options, just like my fast grass blind, I can hunt some areas where the uh, hyperdrive can't get into. It's a lot slower, but yeah, it gets, gets you there. You're not, you're gonna a, you're you not there. hiking the dike. No. Um, Joe DeCrane, I am going to send you, I got a trash talker echo call for you for that question. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas from the Shallow Water Boys. The Shallow Water Adventure. Got us. Um, Brent Lund says, best part about taking my grandkids on the boat, fixing them breakfast. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. They're lucky kids. Yes, exactly. My boy's breakfast is a, a bar. Here you go, Jack. Here's a breakfast bar. <laughs> well, hey, no, now that we've got access to all this stuff, Dave, uh, you're going to have to change your uh, evil ways and uh, have some eggs and bacon out of there on the marsh while you're waiting. Turn yeah, just don't let there. my boy see this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sending a personal video to Jack. <laughs> yeah, to Jack. Yeah, this, yeah, is, is, this is what's Where's possible. Those breakfast bars just don't cut it anymore. Yeah. You know, they, they really don't. don't. Please. Yeah, Jack is not going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casey Brady's got a good question. On my 6,000, I have a crack in the crossover exhaust. Will I see a horsepower difference going from the crossover to the rapide or the uh, rapid? The rapid? Rapid. Probably not horsepower. Uh, it'll be a little bit quieter. Okay. Yeah. I don't. You won't see much horsepower loss at all. Nothing that you're going to notice. My RPM might change a little bit, but it's not going to be like three miles an hour. It's not going to be that drastic. Right. The one thing nice is you'll be able to hear. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You'll be able to talk to somebody. Yes. Um, Joshua Taylor wants to know how many retrievals Lucy has. Today, three. Today, three. <laughs> the one was kind of a short one, though, because... That, they almost, oh, that was so awesome. They shot it. Dave shot it right over the ball. I literally could have reached out my hands and caught it like a, like a kickoff football. I would have shot one second sooner. Would have landed. In the boat. Would have landed right in the boat. Now but. Lucy is nine, and she is in fantastic shape for a nine-year-old dog. She, uh, I hunt a lot of hiking areas, and that uh, has put her in very good, excellent shape over the past few years. Um, I couldn't even guess how many retrieves she made. You know, yeah. She's hunted nine years. I hunt a lot. Um, he does has, hunt a lot. She has been a, a fantastic dog. You know, I trained, I trained all my dogs myself. Uh, she knows hand signals. She knows, she's whistle trained. She's very obedient. Uh, she has a fantastic nose. In fact, she drives us crazy every morning. My daughter is just stating this. My daughter gets up early and she feeds the dogs breakfast. So Lucy is on a clock, and you know, about five o'clock, she'll start getting up, and she'll s smell under the door, <laughs> trying to smell out my daughter to see if she is in the kitchen or not. <laughs> Drives us crazy. Oh, that's you know, hilarious. Her at five, just, Where's Zoe? Is she up? Is she up? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. So uh, she, uh, she's good. She uses her nose. And she's made a lot of very good retrieves. You just yeah, she's great dog. keep talking there, guys. I'm gonna yeah. You go. You go I'm ahead. Gonna, and I'm gonna. I've got go a little bit of a uh, elk, a little bit of cabbage. It was very good too, Keith. Some uh, sorry guys. Little, what do we got? A little uh, paste I'm salsa verde. And uh, I'm gonna chow down, and I'm gonna have yeah, some beans. You so. go ahead. You go ahead and get that done. Michelle Webb is very impressed with your cooking skills. She says it's nice to see a man cooking for a change. Hey. <laughs> Anytime, Michelle, come to Utah. I got a, I got a couple Camp Chef smokers. We do ribs, we do brisket. Got prime rib coming up for uh, Christmas Eve dinner. Oh, yeah. So uh, I love my Camp Chef products. You, now you really I'm even do. more ecstatic because 
It's on the boat. Yes. Um, I will give Lucy one. Please, she's returned it. Uh, let's oh. see. Okay, so uh, somebody just asked. Oh, uh, Craig Galloway, is that mounted on the T-rail? Yes, it is. So this is, um, we're just launching this uh, rail system that will be available to purchase um, in our store about mid, mid-January mid is when that will be available. It'll come in a six inch length, a foot long length, a foot and a half, and a two foot length. Those will be your options um, in the store. This camp, uh, this camp chef is uh, it's kind of a, uh, prototype just yeah that we've kind of mocked up something that may come available in a in a while but we're just field testing this but it is mounted to the rail right now um well, also jeffrey the way we have it mounted now we've got it hanging outside the boat um if you get an early hunt and you're done and you don't want to cook out on the marsh take it back by those ducks that just winged us there and uh go back to the put it out take the boat out of the water you can flip the grill around the other way and you can stand and cook while you're on the trailer. Yep. So it's we're trying to make it as versatile as we can and as simple as we can. So it just on and off. Once you slide the stove off, you've got the rail system for uh, fishing rod holders, downriggers, all kinds of stuff's going to be available. So um, it's going to be an amazing setup really, really soon. Yes, it is. Craig Galloway, I've got this. Uh, what do we call this? This is a uh, lanyard. Lanyard. That's what it is. Uh, I've got a lanyard here for you, uh, Craig Galloway, so uh, send me a, a private message on this forum or tomorrow there will be a uh, link at the top of this description. Fill out that info and we'll get that sent off to you. That's from Ducks. Exactly. That is from Ducks. Hey guys, um, make right. sure you, uh, I'm going to say it, like and share. There it is. Like I've been, I've been supposed share. to say Yes, please. I would like, like share. to share with you what Dave and I are partaking of because it's been amazing so far. And I just hope that there's something left for you. I know, quit eating. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> shut up. I'm gonna turn this over to you. You got, make you try and look at this. You, I can't read. Remember that. That's glasses right. The um, Frank Williams, what's the length of the boat we're hunting out of? The boat we're in, the Salty Assassin, is a 1754. And Dave, yours is 17 foot. 17 foot. Um, and we've Which got. Which is about our best selling size boat? It's a 17. Yeah, yeah, really, really great size. There are four of us out here right now that are hunting out of these boats. We've mostly just been hunting out of out of Dave's because it's got the, the blind on it. Um, and then we've stashed this one, kind of like our kitchen, yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Um, where's the pile of ducks? The ducks are actually over there in Dave's boat. Not Dave's the only one who's shot anything. Keith so far pile. has... Not a lot of ducks out here today. Not a lot of ducks out here today. Day three... Geese zero, but I saved myself from falling in the water when I spun around and shot from behind. <laughs> Don't know how I did it, but I saved it. Okay, here's a good one. This is a question I've been with Nicholas Emerson. Do you guys prefer an open boat layout or a layout with storage and gun rod box? This is a this is a conversation that we have had many a time because. Keith really likes the open layout, but I myself prefer the gun boxes. Uh, so really, it's just a matter of preference. It is, totally. Personal preference. Yeah, personally, I like the storage. Yeah. So I like uh, to keep extra panels for my blind. Um, you know, life jackets, odds and ends, it's just nice to keep them out of sight, out of mind, and dry. Yes, absolutely, um, with so all I the... Like, personally, I like a little more storage. Yes, with all the camera gear and stuff I bring, I like to I like to have a few more boxes. You need a tractor trailer for all your camera gear. Well, we try and make it good, so... My stove doesn't take up as much room as your camera <laughs> gear. <laughs> uh, that is so true. Nicholas, I have got the Lucky Duck Tumbler for you. Um, great question or I guess it's not a question but like a you know just let me vent about my uh, preferences of boat layout um, but the uh, Lucky Duck Tumbler is for you so we haven't had anybody uh, guess Stan's question from last week uh, not that I have seen oh come on guys it's a pretty simple one so Stan Shaw met us last week we just ran into him he came over and said hi he asked Keith a question about his boat Slash motor. A part. A part. Um, we want you to guess what that would have been. It should be pretty obvious, but maybe maybe it isn't. But guess that is, and, and Keith's got uh, a duck strap for you. 
if I grab one of these, Lucy uh, deserves a little. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. good she catch, likes, Bubby. She likes that tortilla. She does. She's like, I wish there was some milk on that tortilla. <laughs> um, Nicholas Sellers asks, do you have trouble concealing your cooking gear out on the water? Um, All right, hold, I don't hold know. that while you're talking. I'm going to get this me is, some. Uh, this is the first time we've, we've taken it out, so we're not really trying to conceal right now because we have another boat that we're hunting out of. Um, but this I don't sets wanna, up pretty quick and easily, yeah, so it, while you're I, hunting, yeah, you just... I mean, you can sort out thing it. anywhere. Um, it just slides right out of the rail. Uh, maybe not on the, the Facebook Live, but after we're done, we'll uh, shoot some video how it slides out because it's pretty simple. I mean, it literally take you, you unthread one knob that holds into the rail system and you slide it out, fold it up, and you can store it anywhere you want up and out of the way. So um, uh, it's got a nice gray color. The red's a little bit throw off, but, you know, nothing a can of spray can't or a painter named Kevin mm -hmm. for an additional couple bucks maybe down the road having doing it match the boat marsh. yeah doing it a little that's marsh exactly there. what we're gonna do but we didn't have time to get that done before today but kevin mm -hmm. said it was something he thought he could do geez that is really good so Here, uh, i'm gonna take the camera you can get some brad bryce evans has said too bad we can't sample that i've never had elk before elk is amazing it's a very lean meat um, this is a quick sear. This is one I shot um, two years ago when I was out, and uh, it was vacuum packed. Um, still amazing. After two years, I just defrosted it a little bit last night, sliced it really thin. I didn't put anything on it. I mean, it was straight on the grill. No salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just amazing stuff. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, very little gamey flavor. Mm, so good. good. So I'm still, I'm still, we're still looking. To, find out what question we were asked at the ramp last week i saw the answer i think oh you know, did you somewhere? hey here's oh. my buddy uh still christmas <laughs> my buddy uh jeff just buying a new motor from clint he's buying oh. a, i can't remember if it was the 40 or the 50 hey jeff i think it was a 40 jeff fuchs yeah jeff yeah, fuchs i think it was a 40 was that the 40 that you got hope that thing's on its way really really soon um Oh, I Sid, no, you should have never, ever mentioned anything to me today after the anger that I still have for you. But we'll just leave that between you and I, Jughead. I'll show you, <laughs> Jughead. <laughs> All right, so just, um, uh, Ben Hoptiman, how does the dog get in and out of your boat? I always have to pull mine up and in. Uh, well, if you notice, this boat is you know pretty low sides. Um, uh, you know, she's a pretty athletic dog. Uh, I don't have a problem except for deeper water. Uh -huh. And yes, you know, with the dog vest she has, it does have handles. So there are situations where I'm deeper water. I have to grab her by the dog vest and haul her in. Um, I do have a dog ladder, though, for those situations. But here in Utah, most of Marsh is very shallow. Um, so she has no problem hopping up into the boat in most situations. Sid, Sid said Keith is a jughead. Sid, Sid's in a lot of hot water. So <laughs> Sid, I already told you. You got issues calling Enrique, man. We're done. Psh, broke it off. All right. Do you dare answer something like this? This last question from, from Nico. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. From, oh, yeah, that went away. From Jeff Mullenix. I keep getting more questions. Oh, Nico. Any plans for more HP motors next year? Good question. I, have, I haven't heard anything, but... They know I talk a lot, so they don't tell me a lot until it happens. So honestly, I don't. I really don't know. I don't know. And then Sid asked Dave. He said, "Ask Dave how good the banana bread was. He ate all of it. That was good. It lasted two days. Two days. But I did get my share though, and it was. I think I ate your pieces. Your, of meat, so. That's okay. As long as it was you and not Sid. It was really good with milk. <laughs> really, a lot of butter. No butter. No butter, butter. Just straight was, up, huh? Straight up with milk. Fantastic. Of champions. All right, I'm going to hand this back over so I can so here. get myself, so I can oh. actually read some of these. Yeah, because I can't read. I can't see them. Oh, okay. Here we go. Mark, uh, Mark, is the grill safe enough to use with the blind up? Um, 
I don't know we that We don't yet. know. We have not tested that feature. We, yeah, this I mean... would work with fast grass blind. It would, it would probably go around it, but with a grass blind, I would not recommend it. Yeah. No, you'd go up in flame, probably. Yeah, but but the, the cool thing down. about this new rail system is, is we've got it into the T system. We can also get it where it's a flat. So you can mount the, onto the gun box, yep. up onto the front of the deck, up by the light on the bow. It's pretty versatile. You'd be able to mount that the black system anywhere you want so you can use it and that's what's going to be cool about it it's going to be versatile enough pretty much any boat out there you're going to be able to buy the different accessories that will be yeah, I mean, available most boats have the same t-rail system same t-rail? Yes. the same um, uh, same size t-rail so you have express war eagle uh, um, this should be compatible with any of those boats as well. Yeah. Because it's just a couple. All you do is you drop in a couple of T-bolts, uh -huh. and it lines up into the holes. This one's got five. We've only got two in it now. And then you just tighten up the knob. So we can actually slide this thing anywhere we need it to go and even put it on yeah. the other side. Just whatever, whatever you need it to do to adapt to your system is what it'll do. Um, Jason Kemp, what is the depth of the water you're hunting in? Right about where we're sitting now, probably about a foot, maybe. Uh, yeah, about a foot. That's what I'd guess. Yeah, foot, foot and a half. We're going to have foot Ambry down. after we're done walk across the marsh and see how deep it gets. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty rare in any of my hunting for Lucy to have a swimming retrieve. Most of the time it's just shallow. Yeah. Running and jumping. <laughs> uh, Joey Clark, I missed the first of the show. Where are y'all hunting today? We're out in Farmington. We're in Farmington Bay today. Hey, Joey. How we're going to have you? Dave drop a pin. <laughs> Dave, drop a pin. Somewhere on the way home, Dave. I'll drop a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Williams, what propeller are you running on your motor? We have the notorious Big Blade. The Big Blade. The Big Blade is what we're yes. running. Got a little bit of a heavier boat with all of the gear that we have. The two blade just gets us up and rolling in a hurry. And with the mud, it's a great propeller. Yes. Um, Brett... Uh, Mikowski. Um Will the mounts be sold separately in case you want to use your own grill or stove? Um, it's a little early for that question. I'm not sure how this will work. Like I said, this is still a prototype. So um, how that's going to end up, I'm not sure. Keep an eye out, but I, as, soon as, as soon as we know, you will know. I'm sure, sure we'll just offer the mounts. There'll yeah, be... the, the rack system the, will definitely be sold separately, but whether a, a conversion kit for a grill, I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's for the the smart people back. That's the... for yeah. That's for the engineers, because this had very little engineering. This was just Keith and Bill. About an hour before work was over on Friday, we put this uh -huh, little system together. You put that together, that together so. yeah. Uh, Sid, we're, this is a this is an Optifade Marsh boat. Is that Sid? That is Sid. Uh huh. I don't answer his questions anymore. <laughs> Danny Anderson, any ideas on dog ladder that can attach to back pods? No idea, but you know, actually, I don't know if a dog ladder is necessary for the back pods, unless you're hunting in deep water. A dog could jump on those pods fairly easily. Um, but no, I, I think you'd be better off with a dog ladder that would go out, off the gunwale of the boat. I don't think anything would be compatible with the pods themselves. And we don't have anything available. Um, Mark is interested to know how fast this boat will go with all four of us in. I don't know, Mark. We're just hitting the break-in period. Miles. <laughs> we're two. We're going. Like we're going to work. Yeah. Miles we're going to GPS it on the way home, and maybe we'll have to discuss it. Yeah, we'll have to see if, if, if we if we'll know. post that speed for you. But we yeah. are going to check it because we are right at five hours now. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, Brandon asks, "What kind of gun y'all using today?" I got a Winchester SX3. Nice. It's been a great gun. I worked for Browning Winchester for <laughs> yeah. quite a few years. Yeah. So, not uh, partial, but it just fits me good. It, it shoots well. Nice. Uh, I like it. The SX3. And what about you, Keith? I have. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. He hasn't killed anything. Yeah, I have. It doesn't really He's matter what I have. He's just using uh, a. He didn't bring any bullets. Yeah, today I brought my uh, semi automatic Franke in, in a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge. I brought the 20 gauge for Ambry, but she hasn't pulled it out of the sleeve yet, so we'll see. Well, we get back out to hunting. Oh, yeah, amber has been busy, actually, with the camera, sh shooting in different ways. So maybe I'll, I'll take over. Do we have over. anything left to give away? Yes, I think we've got... Um, I've got that Tangle Free hat, I think. Ooh, this is the coveted waterproof one. 
Oh, yeah, wax cotton. That is, yeah. that's that, that waxed one. Um, let's see. Let's give that to, um, uh, to Brandon. Brandon Puckett. But, uh, let's do that for you. That, uh, that Tangle Free hat is for you, my friend. Send us a PM or, um, uh, tomorrow there will be a link at the top of the description of this post. And, uh, click that and fill out the info. I have no idea what you've given away and what you haven't. I have not given that away yet, and I have not given the, um, let's see. Is this Ambrys? Oh, yeah, that one's Ambrys. Okay. I think that's it. I think just the... We have the Sitka hat and the Mallard Madness. And the Mallard Madness. And nobody, Absolutely. have we got a winner yet for our question? We do, we do. I'll have to go through and see who, who said it first. There were actually a couple in there. Okay. Um, Jennifer Fowler, we are in Utah. Hey, Jennifer. Um, we just got back from Arkansas on Sunday. Where are you, Jennifer? Are you... Oh, no. Oh, that's what we need right there. Bye. Bye, ducks. I don't know. If you you see what that. all of you, see the price we pay to put on a show for you all? Watch, well, you're going to land in our decoys. Yeah, we, we can't <laughs> shoot them. Oh, man. Dave, get back in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. We got to go. Gadwall. Um, Keith couldn't hit water if he fell out of the boat. Who said that? Care to guess who said that? Sid. Yes. I don't know what you two are on about, but maybe you should just, just get some makeup already. I, I should have bring this out on our show, but when you <laughs> promise somebody something, you should deliver. And oh, he didn't man. deliver. Everybody else got delivery, but I didn't, and I was promised. So. Oh, I got CJ Hendricks back on. Just started the feed. What setup you guys running? Boat and motor. We're in our 1754 XL boat. Uh, it's an F86, actually. Um, and we've got a... Uh, yeah, this is actually the Pro Hall. This is the Pro Hall, and we're running a uh, HDR 50 EFI. This is what we're running. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jackson Hill, how goes the hunting? Uh, so far, Dave has three, and Keith has zero. Um, it's not, There's not been a lot of movement out here. It's been pretty... It, it's pretty better slow. than it was last week, though. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Have you guys tried the shaggy blind? Do you have any experience yeah, with the shaggy blind? Yeah, the shaggy blind's great. It's a little darker pattern, so it's better for river bottoms. Um, you know, it's a ghillie suit material. Um, it's probably a little more durable than the grass. Um, okay. But, and, uh, yeah, probably better suited for south or, you know, if you're not hunting a, a marsh, um, the uh, shaggy is perfect. Uh, Nicholas Seller says, I, I I say Keith should start shooting. I have faith in him. I will shoot if ducks will come. <laughs> no. If they come, you will shoot. Um, oh, Jennifer is in Georgia. Uh, need some more ducks now down here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer, this one is for you. Jennifer Fowler, I've got this, uh, this the green Sitka hat for you. With the XL. Although we're going to get you a different one than this particular this one because it like it's, it's got... It's Elk been used it. just a little bit. Um, Brandon Smith, Arkansas is slow right now as well. Uh, we've I've heard that from several different people. Yeah, exactly. Warm and too much water. As long as it picks up by January. Yes. The middle of January. January would be good. Yes. We don't care about the rest of the season. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only a certain time in January is what we're worried about. Tim Wilder says, just want to say I've had my Mud Buddy 23 since 2005 and hands down the baddest motor on the planet. Those little 23s are great running well, they machines, are. man. They really are. Do you have it on an HD or is it on a Mini there? Yes, yeah, so so Tim, let us know. Are you on an HD or on a Mini? Uh, let's see. If you want to make your way to Kansas. Oh, that's where, where Nicholas Emerson is. i got a couple of places of public land that are full of birds. All right, Kansas is our next stop. <laughs> oh, Casey get... Lawson wants to know how you're... Ar you didn't hunt while you were in Arkansas. No, no. It was just a quick trip to... Uh... A dealer, and there comes another bird going right into oh, our yeah, set. Nice like, yeah. uh, but you guys are headed to Arkansas here in a little bit, so you'll have to get back to them on your yes. Arkansas hunt. Yes, no, our, our trip was uh, to Arkansas and to some of the best barbecue in the world. Oh, here we go. Was uh, just strictly business, no hunting. Basically, I had the clothes on my back and a change in my backpack, and that was it. Yes. Hit the ground running and came home running. 
fantastic. So. All right, well, I think we're gonna end it there. We've uh, all yeah, we might have uh, to. Pintail just lit. <laughs> yeah, we got uh, we got birds. We got to get to, and we got more food that we got to finish up. Yes. Um, but thank you everybody for watching so much. We hope you have a very uh, merry Christmas, a happy New Year. Remember, next week we will not be on because we're gonna be at home celebrating. Uh, but in two weeks we're gonna be back. Uh, we'll probably be back at the at headquarters. At headquarters. Uh huh. I think we'll be back at headquarters um, at the same time, three o'clock next. Not next Wednesday, Two but weeks. the Wednesday after. Two um, weeks. Keep sending in your questions. If you have them, we'll try and continue to respond to these feeds. Um, like and share, everybody. Uh, if you like the show, let us know. If you have ideas, things you'd like to see, or more questions, definitely uh, post those comments. Um, also, don't forget about all of the uh, fun things we have going on right now. 12 Days of Christmas. We've got a couple more days left of the 12 Days of Christmas giveaways. We've got tons of uh, stuff already given away, but more to come. Um, wh what is it? we got the $250 gift card for, for a new motor new purchase, motors, new yeah. 40 or, or 5000 Nice uh, little incentive, huh? Yes. And then, last of all, Christmas morning. One person is going to have the greatest Christmas of their entire lives. Keep an eye on your email uh, Christmas morning because an email will go out to the winner of the Boat and Motor Package for our Mud Buddy 25th Anniversary Giveaway. That is happening Christmas. So keep an eye out because somebody's going to get lucky. Um, but that is... Real yeah. quick, tell them what question was asked. Everybody's asking. Oh, the question he asked, um, he asked about the prop. He's like, was, is my prop wore out? Is my prop worn out? Yes. We, we told them how to check it because... It was about 5.30 and there goes one right into our screen. Yeah, no. oh, and, uh, it was a little bit dark, so it was really hard to see. So gave him some quick tips to check his problem yes. home. So. Also, big shout out to my brother-in-law's brother-in-law, Scott Davies. He's probably out hunting right now, too. You can't keep him down. Uh, Scott, I've got some stuff for you. Thanks for watching. Uh, he's a big fan. And, and, you know, actually, for those of you who, like, long ago when we were introducing the 40, you could see him walking by. He was around back then because he's kind of famous. But Scott, you're the man. Thanks for watching. Everybody, have a Merry Christmas. We'll see you in two weeks right here in the shallow water.